first few nights were, were dreadful. I mean, you know, uh, the strong weather that we went out into, which were conditions I'd never been on this boat before in those conditions. So, you know, I don't know whether the boat was going to put up with it. But you just have to um, assume that the boat can and push on. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased to report there's no major problems. Uh, but I broke some gear. I broke some wing gear and uh, subsequently had to go the rig. And so it's taken a while to sort of recover from that. Well, here we are, top of the rig, a VECA 3, the last place on earth I wanted to be, and here I am. It's pretty uncomfortable and uh, pretty remorseless uh, hard graft, and the boats are getting harder, definitely. Uh, uh, either that or I'm getting older. One of those two things is happening. I think uh, I miss family more this time round than uh, previously, maybe. I, I don't know why. I think it's probably because Soren's at a certain age and uh, it just seems odd to not be around uh, uh, when he's you know, in this space. Um, so that makes it quite difficult. Uh, but um, uh, And you get very lonely when you've got a job that needs uh, four pairs of hands. Four sets of hands. Sixty, seventy miles in the context of the Vendée Globe is not a great distance at this stage of the race. We really are in touch here, and our real goal would be to be in touch uh, in the Southern Ocean, uh, where I know I can uh, drive the boat quickly. Yeah.